There's something about snow on the ground, cardinals flying about, and the silence in the air that brings me peace. This week on the homestead got a little wild. With these single digit temperatures, we had our work cut out for us. This is where our story begins, on a cold but mild day, preparing for the storms headed our way. Even though it's freezing cold out, our chickens are still giving us eggs. Goes for my finger. Ashlyn's out here in slippers. What are those? They're my box slippers. We started by loading some straw on the Polaris to take back to the pigs. We found straw to be the best thing to bed pigs with. It stays nice and fluffy, keeps them really warm, and they don't try to eat it all like they do the hay. These pigs are gonna be extremely warm in these huts. Idaho Pasture Pig Registry recommends we use these and they use them on their farm in Wisconsin when it's super, super cold and there's tons of snow. So they'll be just fine out here in this. And then we have the, the straw we're adding to it to uh, warm them up a little bit. If you watch past videos, we had them in this area. It was extremely, extremely muddy. You can probably see all the white right there, which is just a bunch of frozen water sitting on the ground. We've moved them to a new area, nice and grassy area for them. Our waterers are kind of frozen. There's actually a sheet of ice in here, so it, there's still a ton of water underneath, but the uh, the pig nipple down there gets frozen quite a bit, and I don't think they like putting their mouth on it. So for the time being, we're gonna scoop some water out of there and we'll put it in a little dish for them. Well, it's super duper cold today. It's in the 20s. It's going to get in the single digits next week. So we are having to get them all snuggled up in their huts and get them super cozy. Water was a big issue this week. Thankfully, our yard hydrants didn't freeze, but our regular pig waters were completely frozen. So we had to fill five gallon buckets. We had to break the water from the day before to make room for today's. Ashwin was a really good sport coming out and taking care of the animals in these cold temps with me. Thankfully, we have a Polaris now to help us haul everything down to the pigs. It's a real back saver. Every day we'd clean the snow off the solar energizer and make sure the pigs had plenty to eat. As you can tell, it is very cold today, but these guys are steaming and stayed nice and warm in their huts last night. It was pretty cozy with all that straw. They go in and they make their little beds and Bezzy's probably a little too cold, so she's gonna go hang out in her hut. And it's back to breaking ice and watering the pigs. They really enjoyed their new water fountain.
We're having to give water to these pigs in these little rubber dishes, which we really like because as you can tell, I can just huck them on the ground and the ice breaks out. They don't break. So these are really nice if you have livestock, you need to water in the wintertime. If you couldn't tell, it was so cold out, I was having a hard time getting my words out. The cows were living in paradise in the barn out of the snow. Rosie's about a month and a half away from calving, so we were making sure she's well fed and warm. Now that the cows are in the barn, they've been nice and warm for winter. We have both the aprons up on both sides, so they should be nice and toasty in here. So to water these guys in the wintertime, we have to empty our hoses out or else they get solid and we just can't fill their water up. So this is what we do. We just raise it above our head and all the water comes out at the end. And then tomorrow, when it's 15 degrees, we can uh, turn the hose on and water them super easy. I'll watch out for you. We're re-splitting some of our wood because we want to get our fire nice and hot on these really, really cold nights. To me, these simple moments Ashlyn and I get to share are ones I'll remember forever. built this big huge bin with the rollers on it because we were sick and tired of having to like lug in a big box and pick it up so now we got this thing on wheels it can usually fit about three or four days worth of wood oh it was six degrees at 7 a.m. and right now it might be a balmy eight degrees. Well that yard hydrant's frozen. It is freezing cold. I guess we're gonna have to go use the one in the cow barn. Fingers crossed. Oh yeah got water surprisingly in this big huge barn it actually stays a lot warmer I mean at eight degrees it's still freezing but it is still quite a bit warmer and it keeps the wind off we might as well go fluff the cows hay while we're in here or else they're just gonna be moving like crazy told you hey Rosie do we need to break your ice Now we gotta fluff their hay, or else they get angry with me. These might be the quickest morning chores I've ever done in my life because I wanna get the heck out of this cold. Right now we are watering our pigs twice a day out of these little tiny rubber buckets and we're just hauling the five gallon buckets out here of course and they're getting double the grain right now because it's real cold i want to make sure they're nice and full they honestly just go spend most of their time in their little huts over there and those have a bunch of straw that we put in there for them they're staying nice and warm these pigs do really well in the winter time they've got that long hair compared to some of these other pigs those commercial pigs probably wouldn't do too well in this but these guys do just fine. They're more like wild animals than those commercial pigs. All right, that's morning chores. I'm getting the heck out of here. Back to the house, back to the fire, get warmed up. But guess what? We're still getting eggs when it's eight degrees out. Our new chicks are staying nice and warm inside. So last night we got a ton of snow. And I'm a little worried about the pigs because we have a single strand wire up and I've never had to deal with that in the snow. I'm not too sure if it's on the ground right now. The, all the pigs could be out for all we know. 
As I'm sitting here editing this video, I feel so thankful for the opportunities we have. To be able to wake up together, go out on one of the most beautiful days to continue our journey of self-sufficiency. Truly, what a beautiful life it is. Looks like the electrical wire held up well. None of it's on the ground or getting packed by snow, but we need to clear off our solar energizer so it can actually recharge today. Their huts are still nice and warm and dry. This is our second winter on this property and last winter we didn't get hardly any snow. Definitely not like three or four inches like we have right now. We've been looking forward to having a lot of snow on our property. It's nice and beautiful and I don't know, there's something about it. It's nice and quiet and relaxing. This is our creek. You can barely tell that it's even there. The cows are staying extra warm. They're not even in the snow. Honestly, they probably don't even know it's snowing. They're all out of hay, so we're gonna roll a new bale over. If you have cows, you probably got a lot of this crap laying around. We're gonna leave the cows to it. They got a nice fresh bale on this cold day, and we're gonna head inside and get warm. staying nice and toasty inside right now. But before this video ends, I wanted to tell you guys about a little membership area we've created on YouTube. It's an area where we're gonna give you guys uh, early access to all these videos, and then we also post some updates and photos and things like that uh, that don't normally make it into videos or on any of our social media. It's a little bit more of a personal area, and uh, if you're you know more curious about what we're up to on the daily, or if you just want early access to these videos, you can check that out. There's a little join button below this video or in the description uh, there's also going to be a link where you can go and check that out so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one